Hello, all you hardcores out there. How are you doing? It's Russ here from Porky's Corner, the voice of hardcore boxing. We say the things that nobody dares say on YouTube, especially in the boxing industry. Right, big shout out to Welcome Estates and big shout out to them people that have signed up to be Welcome Estates promoters this week on YouTube. Thank you very much. Big shout out to Spartan Demolition. Right, here we go. Billy Joe Saunders and Ben Shallon. It looks like they've got a bit of intense beef. Oh, I don't know what I, I, how much beef it would be because listening to the uh, private phone conversation that Billy Joe Saunders put up on his Instagram the other day, listening to that, it, uh, it seems to me like that, that Ben's is basically filling his nappy. So I'm going to play your conversation here. Let me know what you think. Uh, here we go. Oh. Hello. Right, uh, that that's to me. I've been I'm 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 fifty three year old this year. I've been around the block a few times, right? That to me is somebody who works in the boxing industry was at his death. He's frightened. Now we don't know what this under grand is, is going on about. All people can do is assume because we don't really know the fact. Well, I would assume that it'd be an hundred thousand pound signing on fee to sign me boxer and go on Sky, and reading between lines, I think he's been naive, if this is true what I'm hearing, and and what I also think, maybe there is an underground signing on for you, maybe Ben's had an handshake with Billy, and said yes please I'll work with you, maybe he's gone to Sky and they've said we don't want to work with him, and he's left holding the baby then isn't he, because Sky are going to say we'll work platform if you've offered him a promotional deal, so this might be where he could have been top trumped here, but if that had been me, I'd have said, well, look, subject to going and speaking to Sky. Or if I were working with Dennis and it had been somebody, and they'd have been saying, here, where's my 10 grand signing on fee, Porky? I said, well, I've spoke to Dennis, and he said, I don't want to work with you. So there's no down for your 10 grand. That's what I'd say. And I'm so sorry if I've got mixed up here, but it would, you would, it would have been subject to me speaking to Big Ron and Fight Zone and Steve Crump and all that, wouldn't it? You know, if it were that sort of situation. But I think he's been naive here. But if he's shook on a deal with Boxer and Billy Joe and he's got a verbal agreement from a handshake or even some at sign, I don't know, he'll have to stump up. He'll, he, he'll be in the right tight spot. So Billy should go through lawyers, shouldn't he, really, rather than putting this on it? Because if he's frightened, any coppers only got to listen to that and... And, and feel that he's trying, somebody's trying to intimidate him, even though Billy didn't say a word. You've only got to look at Bill, haven't you, to know that if you if you owe him 100 grand, he's going to come to you, to come and collect, isn't he? So I don't know. We don't know what this 100 grand is. We can only assume, but I would have thought it'd be a signing on fee. And uh, it's and it's been and it, he's gone. He's tried to speak for somebody else, Sky, and it's he's gone. It's gone above him, and they've said no. That's why I think anyway. I could be wrong. I could be way wrong, but I think it's that. But if not, I mean, we don't know. I mean, we, there's all sorts of rumors on the internet about boxer size Ben, isn't there? Apparently, he likes a he likes a good night out, if you know what I mean. You know, all the trimmings. So, but uh, I don't know if if he's mixing it wrong company. I mean, he looks like perfect front man, doesn't he? On this photograph here, on this uh, on this YouTube here. It looks like perfect squeaky clean front front man, doesn't he? We're, we're going to say thumbnail and front man, but he ain't that squeaky. And let me tell you, 
He's actually speaking to Billy on phone, so he must be worried because he wouldn't speak to Dennis on phone. He did it through text messages. He don't like so if he's had to speak on there to Billy, he's groveling in his so get your hundred bags paid if you've opened your pie all Ben. And he learned from it. This is probably the best thing that could ever happen in your life. You will learn from a career ending mistake like that because the hundred bags can wipe boxer out, can't it? Probably. And I dare say Ben saying Sky effed him that's not going to go down too well at Sky so he could be on his way this man here it's over really before it got started and then he'll still have Billy Joe pulling up outside his house with all his mates in his G-Wagon wanting his under bags <coughs> so that ain't going to go away is it things like that happen all the time in boxing but he's out his depth, isn't he, really, Ben Shalom? He's a Cub Scout at the end of the day. He's a Cub Scout, isn't he? You know what I mean? He's a bit like Bean, isn't he? He's, he's the most uncool kid in the class that stumbled into the cool kids class, isn't he? Like, what's he doing in here, him? Get back in there, you swat. That's what he reminds me of. He's a swat. I look at him, and do you know what I see? <clears throat> I look at him, this Benny here, Ben Shalom, and do you know what I see? I see Adrian Mole. I see the mole, Adrian. Adrian Mole, age 13 and three quarters. That's what I see. Hey, he's had it on his lap. This is Sky, and he can't even deal with people. Do you know what I mean? You've got to have some front and some gonads in boxing if you're going to get on Benny. Otherwise, you're just going to be fish food. Do you know what I mean? You'll be fish food, mate. You'll end up like that Barry Smith. You know, Ben Davidson's runabout. You'll end up like him. <coughs> Going to the shop at sandwiches and carrying spit buckets around gym and mopping up. Oh, all right. Oh, Max has just texted me. Oh, my God. Vard has just turned up to test me. Max, I know you're listening. Why would Vard be testing you, Max? Hey, you're one and one as a pro, mate. Why would Varda be testing you, Max? Get a grip of yourself. Varda had gone to Max was to test him. Max, you're like Larry Holmes. Right, that's about it. Okie dokie. Peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep sporting boxing. Don't have nightmares. But getting on before we finish this, Billy Joe Saunders, does he come back? And who does he fight? There's only really a Eubank fight for him, isn't there, really? Because they're both in no man's land. But if Bill wants to come back, he's going to need a few fights, isn't he? But we're hearing this all the time, aren't we? But it's two year hard at ring, Bill. So he needs to get a move on. He needs some stability in his life. But glasses are full for Billy Joe Sons, for me. Glasses are full. So, okie dokie. People are saying he's finished. Well, he's only a year older than Fraser Clark. So Fraser Clark's just starting. If Billy wants to get fit, he can turn it around. He could come back and have a good five year with that style he's got. But he's a middleweight. And he did that comfortably back in the day. And he hadn't got any taller in the last 10 year. So Billy Joe Saunders, a message from Big P for you. You are a middleweight, son. There's nobody at middleweight to beat you now, only Golovkin. If you're going to come back, come back at middleweight. When it's nice and easy for you, go get a middleweight championship and go dominate. Or you can be driving around in whatever car you've got for the rest of your life, telling all your mates in all the bars you're going, I could have been a runner bean. All right? Could have, would have, should have. Don't be one of them guys, Billy. All right? Don't be one of them guys like me. Don't make mistakes at a young age. Sort it now while you can, lad. Okay, you're not making up for lost time when you got older. All right, Bill. All right, Benny from Crossroads. Good looking court when Dennis sues you. Peace out. I think Eddie Hearn's suing you as well, isn't he, Ben? I see you're on your way, mate. P45 within a month. Booyaka! Porky's Corner is proud to be sponsored by Spartan Site Solutions. They are specialists in civil engineering and demolition contracts for the construction industry. Interested parties should visit their website or contact Porky's Corner for a referral at porkycorner at mail.com.